<laughs> okay, so here we've got the Omega. Uh, this is a uh, Neo Geo uh, MVS uh, console. This was done by Arcade Works. Um, this is, I guess you would call it an indie console. Um, it is Omega's take on the Neo Geo console from back in the day. Uh, this was provided to me for a view by Mark of Tappers or her games and toys. So thank you so much for uh, the re opportunity. Um, so this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, so it supports all MBS games. It supports uh, the native, the Neo Geo uh, controllers, obviously, but also has some neat features. So, um, so we got this, and we got one game. I'm going to show it to you here. Uh, this is uh, World Heroes. That's what the cart looks like. Huge. <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just put this in console, and it looks like this. Huge, right? <laughs> it's ginormous. And then the controllers. These, I believe, are standard Neo Geo um, AES controllers. It could be wrong. They might be the Neo Geo CD controllers. I'm not entirely sure. But we got one here. We got another one right here. And then it comes with power cable. Pretty standard. And then it comes with the uh, component cable. Yeah. Now this is for sale, or will be for sale, um, on... Um, I'm not sure when it goes on sale, but I know that will be for sale, and it'll be right around the $600 mark, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so if you want this for yourself, you always wanted a Neo Geo console, you can get uh, this exact console from uh, Tabers Retro Games and Toys, um, and link to purchase this exact console will be in the description down below. So if you to pick it up, you'll have the chance to do so. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the gameplay. Okay, so now that we got a look at the game uh, system itself, let's take a look at some of the gameplay. Okay, so uh, if you go ahead and hit these, hold the start and select buttons, you get the in-game menu here. So you've got uh, the cheat database. Let's pull this over a little bit here. Uh, you got the dip. Uh, debug dip settings, you have the patch memory and soft reboot. We go into the cheat database. You've got cheats for the game that's inserted. So we've got infinite time, we've got uh, infinite uh, life, if it double jumps, so really cool uh, cheats there. Uh, debug dip settings, I'm presuming this is for um, this is the dip settings you would have like you had in an actual arcade cabinet. That's kind of neat to see. No way that does, but that's okay. Uh, patch memory, this is to patch the memory um, if you need to. Again, not sure what that's really for, but that's there if you need it. <laughs> and you got the soft reboot system option. So we do the soft re uh, reboot system option. And then we press and uh, press really quickly the A, B, and C button at the Neo Geo boot screen. We'll actually get to the Uni Bio screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. There we go. All right, so now we're here in the Neo Geo Universe, uh, Universal BIOS screen. Um, so you've got the region setup, you've got the general BIOS settings, you've got the game card CRC check, jukebox player, and the PC to Neo connection option. So we'll go ahead and look at the region setup. So here we can set the region to Japan, uh, USA, or Euro. And I'm going to go ahead and set it to USA. And then you have button control options. You can do the arcade option or the console AES option. I'm going to go ahead and go for the arcade option. Okay. And general BIOS settings, you've got disable the boot up hardware test, disable the in-game menu, disable the input crossings, uh, enable the cabinet fixes, disable spy screen, enable arcade protect. So this is, this is again, I think, settings that, co that coincide with if you actually had it in a an actual arcade cabinet, because this hardware that's in the Omega system, it's actually an actual arcade board. 
So it's actually like you're having an arcade cabinet at home. So these settings are, are unusual to see here. So game cart CRC checks is actually checks the um, the various banks on the ROM to make sure everything's okay. That's kind of neat to see. So you can check to see if the game's bad. And jukebox player. This is cool. So this will give you an option to listen to the in-game music. That's kind of neat. I like that. I'm going to exit there, though. And the PC to Neo connection, this is so you can connect the Neo Geo system, the Omega, to uh, to an actual PC. And I realize that actually some of that's been cut off. Let me pull it back just a little bit so you can see more of the screen. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's that's the uh, uni, uni BIOS, and we're going to go into C to exit, and C to exit again. Okay. So it boots up. All right, so this is World Heroes. It's the only game I got to review with the uh, system, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to press start here. All right, so we got a couple of characters here to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Ryu-looking guy here. And we're going to do normal mode. Okay. Hanzo versus Jean or Jian. So the controller is really responsive. I like the clickiness of the buttons. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but... <laughs> uh, it still has a really great feel. And the joystick's really nice too on, the, on these you know, on these uh, fight sticks. So I think Hanzo is more like a combination between Guile and uh, Ryu in his fights in his fighting style. This I mean, Desiccated really uh, really did try their best to cash in on the whole hype that was uh, Street Fighter back in the day. So this was their answer to that game. Second, there we go. Pro Ninja Two, got her. All right, well, let's say I wanted to go ahead and do the in-game cheat menu. I wanted to go ahead and give myself infinite time. I may want to do infinite um, life as well. I can do that. And the cheats are instantaneously, like almost instant, well, yeah, pretty much instantly applied. So I have infinite time, and I have infinite health. That's kind of cool to see. I throw her down. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn that off. Because it's kind of cheap to have that turned on. I mean, it'd be good to, like, for practice, maybe. Just kind of just learn all the movesets. I can see why it would be a good idea to have that. So those that are wondering, um, this Omega system... Uh, is actually on sale uh, at a Tappers the um, the Tappers Retro excuse me the Tappers Retro Games and Toys uh, eBay store. Uh, so as well um, as well as uh, being available at the shop. So if you're in the area, you want to take a look at this thing in person, um, see it in action. You do have that option before you purchase it, and the system is kind of spendy. Um, I think he's got, he's at $600 on the system itself, um, as well as the two fight sticks. Now, this system was created by ArcadeWorks, and if you wanted to buy the system from them without a controller, okay, just the console by itself, it is $524. Um, and with with this bundle, you're getting two arcade sticks and the system for 600. So that's a little math there. That's what a little less than yeah, that's less than 20 bucks um, per arcade stick. That's a really good deal for this. As right, so we're gonna go ahead and actually 
do soft do, pff, whoops do soft reboot uh, we're gonna go take a look at a couple of other characters here real quick And link to purchase the system uh, will be uh, in the description down below, so you'll be able to go ahead and go right to the um, to the eBay listing and purchase it if you like. We're gonna go and take a look at uh, Dragon here. This guy has a little of, uh, a little bit of Fei Long and uh, uh, E Honda in him, <laughs> uh, but he's supposed to be uh, the likeness of. Um, of uh, Bruce Lee. Really? I tried to throw him and that didn't quite work out, did it? Oh, come on. I might just lose. I'm going to lose this one. Yep. Lost it. Oh, I tried. Trying to redeem myself here. Nope. No, oh, maybe. Now, one thing I will mention with this system is that, and I'm, I'm sure he mentions it in the ad, and he likely will mention it before he purchased the system, but it is extremely, um, oh, dang it. Uh, it is extremely f um, specific um, in the TVs that it works with. Um, and the reason I'm recording this way that I am is because I actually um, I should have borrow a TV in order for it to be played in color. Because otherwise, you're going to get it in black and white. Even if you have the correct connections. It'll still play and play in uh, black or display as black and white. The reason for that, I'm told, is because of the frequency. I just picked the same guy uh, I'm talking instead of actually picking the character. But uh, <clears throat> the reason why it does that is because I th guess the refresh rate of the video signal isn't such. Um, it's it's a very minuscule amount above 60 hertz, I think, um, or above 50 hertz, something like that, where only certain TVs will work with it correctly and display it in color, even if you have the correct um, uh, cable connection. There we go. So that's something to, to think about when you're going, if you want to purchase something like this. It's only to work with more, with an older, uh, an older model um, HD television. Um, or one of those old CRTs that accepts the, um, I believe it's the component connection where you got the red, green, blue, uh, orange, and white cables. Or YPBR, I think is what it's also uh, referred to as. So something to keep in mind. But it's a really neat system. I mean, if I had 600 bucks to throw throw down on this, I definitely would. This is definitely a great system. I mean, I will be able to play it in black and white, but that's okay. <laughs> this game is still still cool and in black and white, too. Although it does look much better in color, I will say that. I mean, the controller's responsive, and there's no input lag, I can, I can tell, and... It looks really nice and vibrant. Definitely a definitely an awesome little, little system to to play with. Not sure what's going on with the camera right there. That was a little odd. I wish sure I had her. There we go. Okay, all right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the review here, guys. This has been a look at the Omega MVS system or the Omega Entertainment Machine multi-video spec um, produced, uh, manufactured and produced by ArcadeWorks. Um, 
again, I will be leaving a link to purchase this exact system uh, with the with the fight sticks. Um, that's listed on the Tabers Return Games uh, eBay page um, in the video description. Uh, I'll also leave a link to uh, the rest of his eBay store and uh, where you can actually learn more about the system. I'll also, I'll also leave a link for, uh, I believe it's still active, um, a link for the... Uh, to purchase the console directly from uh, from Arcade Works. See, totally, totally trying to capitalize on the little Street Fighter thing. They did that in Street Fighter. Granted, it was with a car, but same kind of thing. Okay. All right, so that was the last fight, and I was closing it, but this game's addictive. We'll do one, we'll do one more round here. Okay. All right. Come on. No. Oh. Come on. There we go. Oh. I think I'm gonna lose this one. When in doubt, throw. Which corner I'm gonna work too. Oh, he got me. So yeah, lots of really good characters. Um, you definitely can see that uh, SNK took their inspiration from Street Fighter. But that's okay. This game's still a great fighter. And this is a great home console. And I think I'm going to actually get it this time. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. All right, so I'm going to close it for real this time. <laughs> um, I want to thank uh, Tapper Sorotech Games and Toys for the opportunity to review this console. It's a great little console. Um, although it is pricey, so there is that. But uh, still really great for what you get. And again, uh, the deal that Tappers has for this bundle is a steal at that price. And uh, yeah, I will go and end it here. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.